Most PowerPoint slides look like this, a title across the top, bulleted text on the left, and an image on the right. However, we're visual people, so if you really want to make your slides impactful and memorable, make the image the size of the entire slide. Have the image on the background with your text on top. In this video, we will look at how to do this, as well as some tricks to make it look good, including how to layer your content so your text is visible on top of the image, and how to edit your image so that your text displays on an area that is easier to read and not conflicting with your image. First, we're going to drag our image to the upper left-hand corner so that it's flush to the borders of our slide. Then we're going to drag to expand it so that we can size it to cover our entire slide. I'm now going to grab the lower right hand corner handlebar of my image and drag it so that it fills up the entire slide. You will notice that now I have the image resized so that it's flush with the top, bottom, and left hand side of my slide. There's actually some open white space on the right hand side. If I drug my image to expand it to cover that, it would distort my image. But that's okay, I want this extra white space. I'm going to use this to edit and manipulate my image some more. I'm going to grab the placeholder border of this bulleted text and drag it over to the right hand side. This is the side I'm going to have it display on. You'll notice that right now where it is, it's tough to read because it's on top of the picture of this uh, flamingo. So we want to move it over to the right. However, we want to make sure we have plenty of room to be able to read it. Notice that this bulleted text displays very well on top of the white sand in the image. So wouldn't it be great if that white sand could extend a little bit further to the right hand side of the image? Well the great news is I'm going to show you a trick on how we can make the image do that without distorting the rest of the image. We're going to do this by expanding just the very right hand side of our image where the sand is without distorting the rest of the picture. With our image selected, we want to press Control D on our keyboard. This will create a duplicate copy of our image. Take that duplicate image and now reposition it slightly so that it is directly on top of the original image. Click on the Picture Tools Format tab up on the ribbon and select the Crop button. This will place the crop handlebars around the image. Now when you click and drag, you are actually cropping the image. We now want to grab the center leftmost crop handlebar and drag it so that we crop everything out of the picture except for the very white bar of sand on the very right hand side of our image. I'm going to move my bulleted text over slightly to the left just to get it out of the way. Now grabbing the right center handlebar of this smaller cropped photo, I'm going to resize it and drag it to the right to expand it to cover the rest of the slide. Notice that expanding it and resizing it does distort the image, but because we've made this second smaller cropped image what we're actually resizing, it only distorts where the sand is. Therefore, it leaves the rest of the picture intact, and no one's going to know that you distorted just part of it. You'll notice that the second smaller cropped image that we put on the slide is actually on top of our bulleted text and our title text, so it's cutting it off. So now we need to look at how to actually layer the text so that it appears above this new image. So I'll right click on our bulleted text, I'll select bring to front, and then bring to front again. This puts the bulleted text on top of all of the images and other things on the slide. Now I can move the text over on top of the sand. We now want to do the same thing to our title text, so we'll right click on it, choose bring to front, and then bring to front again. By using these simple techniques, we have now created a slide that will be much more impactful and memorable when delivering our presentation. And even if you don't find an image initially that has a lot of clean area to display your text on top of, by using this image duplication and cropping technique, you can make it look just as you need it.